Hello and welcome to our final match day vlog of the season, final day in the Premier League and Leeds, Leicester, Everton all fighting it out to survive. Two out of the three will go. Good and Sub Park as well is no stranger to relegation final day drama. If you recall a few years ago, Bournemouth had to go there, get a result. We did get a result, but results didn't go our, our way elsewhere. We ended up getting relegated this time round. The Toffees are the ones trying to survive. And Everton been in Premier League for a very, very long time and they've survived a few times before. They're gonna to need to do it again. Graham Stewart saved them nearly about 30 years ago. They'll need a player in their team today to help them and they have a squad apparently that's depleted. So we'll have to see. For the Cherries, we're already staying up in the Premier League again. 39 points, we've been stuck on that. Three losses in a row though. Jeff Lerma apparently off to Crystal Palace, so we need something positive from today just to end the season, go into the summer, and hopefully we can do some good business push on into next season. I do think the league will finish how it is. I think there might be twists and turns, permutations maybe, but I do think that Everton just scrape it and stay up. There could be smiles all round in Goodison Park, maybe for a result for Bournemouth and results going elsewhere for Everton mean that they stay up and everyone inside Goodison Park will be happy, smiling, cheering at the end. But there will be a blue team that goes down today. A blue team will definitely go down today. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's go Cherries. One more chance to get to 40 points. Let's see if we can have a say in this final day. Come on! Everton fan, Mikey, yeah. we're at Goodison Park. Big day for you today. Big day for us today. Um, need a result, to be honest. I can't rely on a draw. No, so, this. Um, yeah, no full backs isn't a good sign. No, no, no centre, no centre forward either. Yeah, so, no centre forward. I mean, that's part of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Come on, come on. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. yeah. No, no. Everton Park as well, so it's, it's a different ball game. So, what's your score prediction today? From 1 to 11. Outside the away end, we've got Simon here, final game of the season. We're OK, but Evan have got a lot to do yet. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's going to be, um, we're going to win it. Yeah. I think the pressure's going to get to them, and I just see how fancy it's today. I do. Final game for Jefferson Lerma, potentially. It looks like he's off to Crystal Palace. Does he start today? Yeah, without doubt. And he goes with our thanks, you know. He's been a great player. And yeah, he's a bit like Ake, Wilson, Ramsdale. It feels a bit like those departures that yeah. we wish him luck, you know, great player. Score prediction today? 3-1. Enjoy your summer. You too, mate. Take Cheers. care. Don't go in yet, Matt. 
because it's the final <laughs> game of the season. How are you, mate? Yeah, I'm good, mate. How are you? Yeah, I thought I'd just sneak up behind you. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Oh, Everton versus Bournemouth. All the yeah. pressure on them. We came here a few years ago, got a result. Well, we didn't come here because it was COVID yeah. hit season. But, um, yeah, there might be some twists and turns. What are you thinking today? Yeah, there might well be. I mean, we, I think we've won our last four against Everton. We said this, didn't we? Um, 3-1 we won here last time, we've obviously beat them twice this season, I think we beat them in the home game back in 2019, so we've got a great record against them, but just just walking down the streets here, Kirk, this is a proper football club, it's a big traditional football club with a massive, massive fan base, really passionate, um, passionate city, and that's what stri- struck me as I walk, walk, was walking down the street from the, from the pub there to the stadium, so you just think... You know, if we come up here today and, and, and upset the Apple Car by relegating them, yeah. um, it's not going to be pleasant. It's going to be really toxic and we're going to upset a lot of people. But Any, Anyone watching this, I mean, Everton fans, sorry, watching this, some really kind people have spoken to us and they said, look, we wish you all the best. We want to beat you. But um, they're really worried about this. Um, special mention, I know you love Jefferson Lerma. That news came out yesterday. Yeah. Devastating news for us. But five yeah. years, he's given us two years in the championship. Yeah. I mean, he will, be, he will leave the club as a legend. He will leave the club as a legend and I'm, I'm disappointed, I'm slightly underwhelmed to be honest, the fact that he's gone to Crystal Palace because I feel like we can compete with them, we're, we're at least on a par with them moving forward, um, what are they offering him that we can't, so that's sort of bugging me a little bit, but at the end of the day, Jeff's given five years of his, of his life uh, to us, great, great service, he got relegated with us, he could have gone at any point, he didn't, he stuck with us um, and, he, and he's been an absolute legend, what a character, what a player. You know everything he's offered. All we can say is thank you, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks for the memories and thank you for being you, <laughs> basically. And, and I wish you all the best. Um, I'm sure you echo that, Kirk, yeah, in, in, your, in your future endeavours. If it's with Crystal Palace, then so be it. Um, I feel like you, you're missing out by, by going to Palace, and yeah. you know things are building at this football club. So hopefully, if you're if you're listening, Jeff, and if you're watching, we're building and we're growing. So if you're going to Palace, um, come on. Okay. We can be better than Palace in the coming years. Can I change your mind at the last minute? Come hopefully, on. hopefully, Jeff. Uh, ninety minutes. Then score prediction today. Yeah, ninety minutes. So it's a big game. It's a big game for them. Not not so much for us. We are on the beach. We've said this, haven't we, in in, um, in previews and during the week. But let's just enjoy the occasion. And like Gary O'Neill said in his press conference, I'm hoping that we can really go out with a bang. This will be a real test today because yeah. of the, the, the atmosphere and the crowd. How do we how do we respond to that? It'll be interesting to see how we react and respond and how they do as well because the pressure is, is massively on. They have to win the game to guarantee survival, don't they? So let's hope we can go out with a bang. I'm actually going to go with a Bournemouth win. I'm going to go 2-1 Bournemouth. I think that they might crumble a little bit under the pressure of the crowd. And if they don't get an early goal and things don't go for them, the crowd will get restless. I think we can capitalise on that. We have got quality. We know that. I think we can nick it, mate. 2-1. Supermark Trevor's in goal. Yes, he is, John. Team lineups are out. What's your thoughts? Um, not too bad. Uh, I think we're kind of maybe hoping Rothwell will be back. Um, but it's going to be a London building double pivot from the looks of things. With Watara in for Anthony. Don't seem doing his best work on the left. He hasn't so far. But I don't know, I like Brooks. I like Christie. I like Key. Same back four. With yeah. Trevor's in, obviously, for Neto. West Ham, yeah. and I certainly don't think Leeds is going to be Everton. Uh, Leeds are going to be Tottenham by three goals or more. So I think Everton will stay up. I don't think it will be the best result we're here for Everton. I think we'll get at least a point, yeah. but I do think Everton will stay up. Um, I wouldn't be surprised to see us having to come from behind. No, I don't. I wouldn't be surprised. Small prediction from the other night. Two, two. We are staying up. Are Everton staying up? We're going to find out for the last time this season. Here comes the action.
worst scenario for us. Everyone have scored. They've got something to protect now. They're currently staying in the Premier League. We just haven't protected the ball well enough. No. We haven't, we haven't started at all second half. I mean, we didn't do a lot first half. But second half, they've got a bad us. They've got a lot more energy, a lot more commitment and passion in their game than we have. We look like what we are really, which is on the beach. And at the moment, you just can't see an equaliser coming, can you? If anything, it'd be another goal the other way. So let's see what we can do the next half an hour. But at the moment, I don't see this affecting the game at all. 25 minutes to go. Since we got to 39 points and we didn't get to 
that magic number of 40. Seven losses in 13, one goal scored, 15 conceded. Not really the way we wanted to see it out. The objective was achieved, but we, we just didn't see out the season, in my opinion, how I would like to have seen it out. Where did Bournemouth go from here? There's a fair shout to say that Gary O'Neill deserves this chance next season. He's got the contract, he's got an extension. I've been really concerned, really, even through the purple patch, about what we might see next season. It will be no Jeff Lerma, he's off to Crystal Palace. There's going to need to be an overhaul in certain positions, fullback, midfield need adding to. What's our identity? What's our philosophy? How are we going to attack the Premier League next season? And you've got to find a way of recruiting that identity. And if you don't know that, the task becomes harder. I don't know. I really feel worried. And everyone knows this who follows the channel. I'm really worried because the coaching team are really inexperienced. I'm not just talking about Gary O'Neill. I'm talking about everyone. We really need to bring something in with the back room if this is what we're going to stick with. But let's see what happens. Big summer ahead for Phil Foley. Walking away from Goodison Park, match day 38, a loss for Bournemouth. Got John Spark with me. You're going to finish right. the final match day vlog of the season. Yes. I don't know. Take it away. Everton won. Bournemouth nil. They've done it again, John. They've stayed up again. I mean, they've been in the Premier League from the start, but yeah. they've done it again. No, but here's, here's, here's the thing that we're playing 5D chess. You keep the team that are going to have a points deduction in the league. Mm. You don't have to worry about the place next season. Ah, I don't see because that might not happen. But um, you should do. But. Um, Look, personally, Everton was the team I wanted to stay up because they are the team that I feel as though would have struggled the most in the division and I feel they could have done a all Smith and gone back to back down because of all their financial issues. Doesn't mean that they're not preventing the inevitable by staying up this time around. But um, yeah, it'd be sad to see. Um, well, it'd be difficult for me on, on, on Monday to. Uh, <laughs> The look in the eyes of some of the, of the Leicester and Leeds fans for, yeah. uh, because we didn't perform and, but I think I think we didn't really go at it in the way that we could have done it nah. was, uh, I think that there were a few players that had off games and a few players that didn't really fancy putting themselves in the way of getting injured and enjoying their holiday um, there was not, not really enough chances made not enough shots taken and I do think that Bournemouth have when we were playing well, we were taking advantage of the few chances we made. We were creating very high quality chances and scoring them, but we weren't making many chances. That was what we've done all season. Yeah. Now now our plan, these last four games, has seemed to be, right, we're gonna see how we do if we actually dominate the ball and build up slowly from the back. But we're still not shooting enough what you should with what you should do when you when you build up slowly like that. If you're yeah. gonna build up slowly, you're gonna create high volume amount of opportunities. They wanna be great, but you're gonna create a lot of them, that's the point. But we haven't been shooting enough. Nice. Um, and we've been too slow to build the ball up. So it's gonna be interesting to see pre-season and yeah. transfer-wise, what does Gary O'Neill want this squad to turn into? Um, but we'll see because we've got a good base we just need to build upon it better than we have done in the last four games John have a safe trip home it's been a long season more yes. content to come we'll do some streams we'll talk soon yeah yes good morning I was too tired when we got back from Everton Liverpool it was 1am it's been the last day of the season so look I'm just going to finish off this vlog. Enough's been said after the game, during the game. Well done to Everton for staying up. If you've watched this video and you're a toffee, do like and subscribe if you want to check out more content between now and end of June because we'll do a couple of streams. But yeah, well done for staying up. Look, for Bournemouth fans, we'll have some more conversations in the next couple of weeks. But it's been a long season. It's been ups and downs. It's not the way we wanted to finish it, but I wanted to just thank everyone who's watched every single vlog on our channel. Thank you so much for all the likes you've hit, all the comments, all the nice emails I've received. 
much respect from me and the rest of the guys that contribute on the channel. Thank you, thank you so much. But Bournemouth will be in the Premier League next season. It's a big summer for Bill Foley. We'll have to see what this squad looks like come August. But time for us to take a bit of a breather, have a drink, enjoy some sun, and we'll go again. Match day vlog 38. Well, match day 38 and our final vlog of the season and out. Up you Reds.